Hi, and uh, welcome to a new episode of Master and Commander. For today, I'd like to begin with a question. What do you think the biggest problem of smart people is? You seem like a smart person. What's your biggest problem? Probably start thinking about work, maybe something in the family, personal life. People don't get me, people don't understand me. I don't get people. I don't understand them, we don't get along well, uh, the world is going to hell, uh, what's the meaning of life, and basically there's no use. I've thought about everything, there isn't really any solution to my problems. I, I, does any of this sound familiar? Probably it does, and we hear it a lot. But before we answer the question, what's the biggest problem of smart people, let's just share a small story together. It's a story of a wolf, a smart wolf, who used to live in this forest and uh, who was leading a good life. Go out, hunt, eat, sleep, friends around him, enjoying his time, no care in the world. But then one day, a family of lions moved into his part of the forest and all of a sudden the lioness and the small cubs started going out to hunt and the food began getting scarcer and scarcer and there was not enough animals left for the wolf to hunt and he started getting hungrier and hungrier and he didn't know what to do so he thought okay I'm smart I'll figure it out he started thinking started monitoring the family of lions when they go out to hunt when they come back when do they go to sleep when could he go out to hunt maybe he starts early in the morning later in the day he thought about everything and the only solutions he could find was some narrow windows of time when he could go out hunt whatever's left of the uh, animals the prey to be hunted and that wasn't still enough and he wasn't used to that he, that wasn't the life he led and he didn't know what to do but as he was thinking he found something very interesting happening the hyena who was known to be crazy was able to walk in waltz in into the den of the lions pick up whatever food he wanted and leave at any time so and this was repeated day after day so the wolf decided what's there to lose the hyena's crazy I don't think he's gonna ever be any of you of any use to me but I just need to ask him so he passed by his way on the way back from the lion's den and he asked him hey hyena how are you doing that how are you going in and getting whatever food you want from the lion's den and coming out and the crazy hyena just responded ha and left the wolf didn't know what to do on the following day, he tried his luck again, asked the hyena again, and again, the crazy hyena, all crazy, was HA! and left. The wolf just didn't know what to do, and he began wandering the nights, hungry, not able to eat, not able to sleep, and he met, on one of those nights, the wise owl. And he began telling the story to the owl about the hyena, about the lions, about the food, about how hungry he is and in the end he just asked the owl what could I do there's there's nothing more to do and the owl asked him a question how do you think the hyena goes in gets the food and leaves and the wolf started thinking and said He's, he's crazy, He's maybe has some kind of arrangement with the lions or he just doesn't fear what the lions can do to him. So the uh, owl asked, yes, but how does he just walk in and not get attacked by the lions? So the wolf thought to himself a while and the quick answer was that, okay, the lioness is usually not there and the cubs are also not there when the hyena goes. So the owl was like, so? The wolf said, then maybe it's an agreement with the lion himself. They have some kind of arrangement. So the owl asked the wolf, do you really think a lion is going to have an arrangement with a hyena? And the wolf thought, well, unless he was allowing him to eat the dead meat, the rotten dead meat, I don't really see it happening. So one question after the other, they realized that 
there's got to be something special about the situation of the lion that is allowing the hyena to go in and get whatever he needs. And by that time, the owl decided to help the wolf out a little more. And he explained to him what the wolf did not realize earlier, which is that the lion is actually blind. And that the wolf can do just the same as the hyena and have no problem at all in the world. So what's the point? The point is, the biggest problem of smart people is that they are too smart. They think about everything, you think about everything, you analyse everything, you feel that you've got all the answers and that you've done all the thinking there is, that you're expert in your own life and you know everything and there's still no solution apparent. You're still stuck, there's nothing you can do, and there's not really anybody that smarter than you who can help you out. Maybe if you do meet these people every once in a while, you could ask them and, and, and seek advice, but they don't come across uh, so often. So that's the problem. The problem is that your thinking, your knowledge, your analysis about your situation is not just you. There's something inside you called the subconscious that we all know who is also feeding these thoughts and taking part in these thought process and these analyses. And that subconscious doesn't want you to change, doesn't necessarily want you to find the solution. doesn't matter if you feel uncomfortable or unhappy or sad or stuck or whatever. As long as you're in the comfort zone, you're in the familiar zone, that's where the subconscious want, wants to keep you. So you could be having fears, false beliefs, limiting beliefs, false assumptions, anything, and you think that they are part of your analysis and your thinking, but they're not, 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 they're not necessarily the truth, and you feel stuck. What you need to do is find yourself a, a wise owl. Could be a friend, could be a family member, could be anyone. Reach out to a wise owl in your life. Have them shake things up for you to get out of that stuck state. Have them ask effective, deep, open-ended questions and that can help you to free yourself from that position where you feel stuck and you start seeing things differently and you start finding the solutions and the answers for yourself. So find yourself a wise owl. Go to a friend you know can do this role for you. Go to a family member who can do this role for you. Even even better, you can reach out to the coaches in the world around you, in, the, in, in, in your region, in your area. These are people who know how to ask these kinds of questions. Find yourself a wise owl and solve for yourself that question. What's the biggest problem with smart people? They're too smart, but they're still smart enough to find a wise owl in their life. That's, for, that's it for today. Thank you very much and see you again next time. Bye.